This is part three, titled, The Hurting. The program begins. I am left stranded in Paris for a day because my flight to New York City got canceled, so now I will be three days late. They will use this against me to continue discouraging me, I thought. But I had a choice. I could either fuck myself over the fact that I will be another day late or enjoy my day in Paris. What would you have chosen? Of course, Paris. That is exactly what I did. Went about my day. I board my flight the next day and land in JFK. I take a cab home, unpacked and packed for the program. I have yet to shower or rest. I book my bus ticket to the program. Begin my six hour overnight ride. Still have not showered. I arrive, but there is another bus I need to take, a one hour ride. It is 7 a.m. and I finally arrive to the program and quickly shower. As this was going to be my first full day, there was no time for me to rest. I got dressed and went to the office and asked what was there for me to do. What are my tasks? Where do I start? At this point, the students had not met me. And I remember arriving and seeing one of my coworkers and being ignored. They did not bother to introduce me to the students. I was expected maybe a welcome back, Naomi, but nothing. I did not feel they were excited to have me. I was told they were stressed with work because the staff was slow. So I thought maybe they will appreciate I am here. Again, how stupid of me to think someone would ever appreciate me when they do not appreciate themselves. As I am settling in, I am being told that many of them are upset I was allowed to come in late and still get paid the same as them. I was also told they were speaking badly of me to students, whom I have yet to meet. Why did they not bring this up during the training course? Why? Why? It was awful. They were afraid I introduced myself, so they decided to take it upon themselves. I had students begin to disrespect me. I could not understand. I called for a meeting. I found myself asking them questions. I wanted to know if there was anything that I was doing that they did not think was right. I asked for them to give me any feedback. What could I improve? What can I change? I got three responses. They said, you have too much pride. And you do not know how to separate your personal life from your professional life. And you are too much of a leader. I do not look up to you. The three responses that have changed my life forever. I had not realized that each of those responses was exactly what they were missing within themselves. They were hurting so bad that they were reflecting their pain onto me. They so badly wanted to have pride. They wanted to believe in themselves. They so badly wanted to allow themselves to be human. They wanted to be okay with being sat at work. They so badly wanted to be a leader. They wanted someone to care about their work. I was spending so much time trying to figure out their why that I allowed myself to be hurt. I thought this moment would be it, but no, 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 no. There was more coming. The very moment that caused my trauma had yet to happen.